What influences T2? T2 relaxation comes about when protons get out of phase, which, as we already know, has two causes. Inhomogeneities of the external magnetic field and inhomogeneities of the local magnetic fields within the tissues. As water molecules move around very fast, their local magnetic fields fluctuate fast and therefore kind of average each other out. So there are no big net differences in internal magnetic fields from place to place. And if there are no big differences in magnetic field strength within a tissue, the protons stay in step for a long time before they dephase. And so T2 is longer. With impure liquids, for example, those containing some larger molecules, there are bigger variations in the local magnetic fields. The larger molecules do not move around as fast, so their local magnetic fields do not cancel each other out as much. These larger differences in local magnetic fields consequently cause larger differences in precessing frequencies. Thus, protons get out of phase faster. T2 is shorter. This can be illustrated by the following example. Imagine that you drive down a street with many potholes. When you drive slowly, which is equal to the surroundings moving slowly, and you are standing still, your car will be bumping up and down as it drives over each pothole. The differences in the surroundings, the magnetic field variations, influence you considerably. When you drive very fast, which is the same as if the surroundings move very fast, you do not feel each single pothole anymore. Before they have a major effect on you, you are already back at normal street level. Thus, their effect is averaged out. You are much less influenced by differences in the surroundings, the variations in magnetic field strength. What does all this have to do with what we want to know? All these processes influence how your MR picture will finally look.